-hmm. as we go through this week, as we reflect on this life, but let's reflect on our own life. Let's focus on our own lives mm -hmm. and ask ourselves the big question, where am I going to spend eternity? Because mm -hmm. there's only two ways. The Bible says, narrow is the Lord that leads to life, and wider is the way that leads to destruction. Choose you now. The choice is yours to make a decision. Choose and choose life. May the Lord bless us. May his soul of Brother Scamu taste in peace. Amen. 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 We thank God. Even as uh, we have uh, uh, reflected on uh, the life, as Pastor Bonfess has said, we need to learn and also look at uh, what other people have done in life. How did they manage? How did they make it? Yeah, so even ourselves, we pray to God that uh, God will help us, that uh, even as we look at others who have gone before us, we can also look into our lives and our hearts. Even as we pray uh, for Eskamos, let's just pray. And uh, the family, uh, the children, the young two boys are in school, and the mother, and uh, as she was saying and testifying, and those that uh, I knew them, uh, we, we know wherever they went, uh, they were a family, but we pray to God that God is going to uh, minister them. Let's just for uh, our heads uh, in reverence to God as we, as we pray. Let's pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we pray for our beloved sister, uh, Mrs. Kamon uh, Lindewe, and also for the children and the relatives from both sides. Father, we know as we have shared from the Word of God, from your point of view, death is just a separation from the people we love here on earth, and then we go to be in a different place. But the Bible has told us, as we have been encouraged, that Jehovah God, a trumpet shall sound upon that day. When the dead shall rise, when Jesus appears, the Bible says those who have died in Christ, they shall rise up and we shall meet them with Christ Jesus. And Jesus promised to say, where I will be, all my followers and Paul encourages the Corinthians to say, do not mourn the, 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 the people uh, of the Thessalonica, to say, do not mourn like the way other people mourn. Those who have died, they have just gone to sleep. They shall wake up at the sound of the trumpet. Father, we pray for these couples. Uh, Jehovah God, may you strengthen the family. Yes, it's difficult to understand, but with your help, they will pull through in the mighty name of Jesus. The same Jesus that brothers come home believed in. The same Jesus we believe in. Father, we pray, help each one of us that death will not separate us. Paul declares, what shall separate us from the love of God? Is it death? Is it negative? Is it a lack of things? The answer is no. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Father, even as we have celebrated the love and we continue to celebrate the life of our brother, a husband, a father, a grandfather, a brother-in-law, a friend, a companion, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, nothing shall separate us from you. We choose to believe you. We choose to hold on unto Jesus. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. The lessons we have learned, how that he humbled himself and interacted with people. Father, help us to build relationships with others in the mighty name of Jesus. The love he showed to the family, wherever he went, he was with the family. Whatever he was doing, he was with the family. Father, help us to work as families in the mighty name, the name of Jesus Christ. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. It is in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. And amen. Amen. We've come to the end of the, the service.